Hello guys, welcome to Cobalt. This is the third game published by Mojang. And if you remember, Mojang is a little company that created Minecraft and was sold to Microsoft for 2.5 billion dollars. And I guess not just retired early. So Mojang built Minecraft, then they built Scrolls, and Scrolls is probably well, most well known for being involved in a lawsuit over the name Scrolls with Bethesda over Elder Scrolls. Scrolls was a collectible card game and it just ended up in the shadow of Hearthstone really, even though Scrolls in itself was a pretty good game. And this is the third release from Mojang, Cobalt. It's a 2D side-scrolling game. It was developed in conjunction with another development team from Oxeye Studios. And Cobalt spent six years in development. It will be coming out on the 2nd of February, so this game has been on, well underway for a long time before uh, Mojang was uh, sold off to Microsoft. My initial impressions of this, I've played it for about an hour, is that it's just, it's just polished through the roof. It's fucking awesome. It's a 2D side-scrolling enthusiast wet dream come true. There's so much stuff here, but don't take my word for it, we'll just run through it now. Check out the game, as you can see here you can play online. And you can always play local or online uh, multiplayer. So you can play with a friend or you can just play alone. Enjoy a casual game here, competitive games, different game modes and you'll start a game and you'll play online on servers. But the game is not out yet so there are no online players right now. And it should be uh, four players public and they'll play uh, against each other and you'll choose the, uh, the mode and all of that stuff. So instead let's just check out story and arcade mode. And you have the tutorial, I played through that. And on top of the tutorial, there's an advanced tutorial for all kinds of special moves that you can do. Like uh, shooting while rolling and punching the ground while rolling to get more momentum and all kinds of stuff that you, uh, you can do that mixes this up so it's easy to learn but hard to master. So story mode, which is very slow and deliberate and extremely well fleshed out really, very polished. It also eases you into the mechanics of playing the game, so you can skip the tutorial and just play uh, straight into the story. Arcade. This again, you can play with a friend locally here, or just yourself. And in here, there are tons of modes. And I'm going to uh, do this uh, video a little bit different than what I usually do, because I think you want to see gameplay <laughs> before I talk too much. And since the, the story mode is much more slow and there's some reading and all that kind of stuff, we'll play through some of these modes. Actually, I'm gonna show you all of them. So the first one is challenge, score-driven challenges that test your speed, combat ability and puzzle solving prowess. Take turns with a friend or hit the leaderboard's heart. Play solo or with friends. So here there's two modes, combat and speed. Let's uh, check out combat. So there's a ton of maps here. And uh, Cobalt has integration with Steam Workshop and there's a level editor, so they'll just keep on coming, more user-created stuff here. So let's just pick one. Scientist of Destruction, difficulty medium. The Trevor Whitehead brothers, Harry Emmett and Ugly Joe, are forcing a scientist to develop a radioactive weapon for world domination to stop them. Ugly Joe was also a rock band in the 90s. Let's roll. So here we are in the game. And you uh, play with Cobalt here. And you can pick a different one if you want. So I pick a rail here, you can see the different abilities over there. Let's get this guy. And we just shoot this. Take them out. And it sort of auto-aims and you can switch over to ranged or melee. Or if you have something to throw. I'm playing with the controller now. Uh, so if you just threw this at us, we can punch it. If you have the time to switch over, you can actually punch it away from you. And you can roll through bullets in this bullet time here, so that they don't hit you, like so. So it starts out pretty slow, it's not that dangerous in the beginning here. And you have to sort of aim with the, with the stick, but it also sort of auto-aims when you point in the right direction. So you have to time the shots and then you can take out enemies extremely fast. And it goes into bullet time when you get close to the bullets, so you can try and do something about it. You see it's bullet time up there now. So you can either roll away or roll into them and send them back. The explosive, you have to hit with a melee strike to send them back. Ah! <laughs> so there, just roll into some projectiles, but I got killed anyway. So that's the combat mode right there. And you can see there's a leaderboard here. Just return to the menu. And we'll jump out here and do the speed run instead and remember this is just one out of five of the uh, arcade modes let's pick one here andromeda slopes 
Ski season approaching fast. The slopes must be checked for infestation. A warm ski lodge awaits you at the bottom of the peak. Let's roll. So here the uh, objective is to get through the level as quickly as possible. We we'll get this guy fast runner, and uh, of course here you would use the uh, advanced mechanics like uh, punching the ground, double tapping, and yeah, trying to do all that stuff and like running to get your feet all glowy. Oh, here's the ski lodge. So we got in there. So that's one of the easier challenges. Let's get back out to the menu. And the uh, sound design and the uh, music and everything's just top notch in this game. Deathmatch. Compete in a free for all battles on maps with an evolving selection of pickups. Reach the score limit to win. Play with friends or bots. Pick a map here. Let's take something that looks interesting. So let's select this map here, Duel. It looks nice. So you can choose a different rule set here. I think it depends on what equipment you want to start with and all that stuff. So you can also select the character and uh, what weapons that should spawn and all that kind of stuff. And uh, here, over here you can uh, add a couple of uh, bots. And since I'm not playing against anyone, we'll uh, add a bot. Otherwise I'll be alone on the map. Let's roll. So here we go. So there's the duel. Mano a mano. Try and take out the bot. We got the first strike there. And he took us out for the second one there, so it's 1-1. One, one. So you'll play this either online or against another of your friends locally. And there's tons of maps and there'll be even more when the users get around to fi uh, fixing up some maps. So now we are hit by 4 kills, so that's fine. That's just to show you this mode, let's hit back. That was deathmatch. And we have a team strike, play on one of two teams and fight to death. There are no respawns, but you can take over bots if you die, upgrade equipment between rounds and stuff like that. Plug slam, grab the plug and get into the opposing team's goal by any means necessary to score. The team with the highest score when the time runs out wins. Survivor, survivor set of waves, earning votes to upgrade your equipment, stop raid cavalers and uh, protect bobo brains to gain the advantage and reap the rewards, play solo or cooperatively with friends, let's just check this out, because it's also a pretty excellent mode, hold the fort. Suggested players 1 to 2, we'll just play alone. And this will give you an idea of how many weapons there are, and equipment, and everything that is in this game is, is pretty crazy. So here's the uh, equipment we can buy here. A lot of different types of ammo and stuff like that. And here there's hulls, but that one's locked right now. And here's an upgrade bench that you can upgrade all of your equipment. Nano shower, get your battery back up if it's depleted. And here's a selection of guns. But this is locked right now until we get a little bit into the map. You hold down the left uh, stick to get started. Here's the first wave. You can open up this door, head out here. And here's the first wave. So it's better to hit them from behind. You jump up against walls and you can roll to get more speed up. And you can deflect bullets back at the shooter if you roll into them. You can also have rocket boots. That can keep you in the air for a lot longer. And you can roll into the enemies. And you can slide down on surfaces. And you can even uh, shoot the different way when you're sliding down surfaces. Alright, so that completed the first wave here. So now we have more equipment open that we can buy or upgrade. Head up here. Oh, these are still locked actually. Alright, so let's just duck to start wave 2. <laughs> it just hit me straight in the head. It knocked off my helmet there. So you can see my, <laughs> my robot interior there. Ah, so now I can actually fly. Because the helmet was knocked off. So now I have this little rotor. I can fly around. Ah, so they just took me out there. Alright, but that's uh, the survival mode. You just stay on the map, either yourself or with a friend or with bots, and try and survive as long as you can, holding up the fort. So these are the modes. Enough about that, there's tons of stuff to do, with friends or online. 
So now let's take a look at the story mode, which is also extremely fast out. As you can see, you can play it uh, local, co-op. Let's roll. That's strange and exciting. I need to get Cobalt on this. Hey Cobalt, come take a look at this. Cobalt? That's the computer talking. Cobalt! Tending to my plants, listening to music. What the? Sorry to disturb you in the most important work, but you need to come to the bridge stat. So I always with the nagging. I put your music back on, but come straight away. Can I change the radio here? Do you want to listen to something else? <laughs> like this. If you want some upbeat stuff. Alright, so there we go. There's a great soundtrack in the game. So let's head through the door here. So we're back in the in the cobalt little storeroom here. So let's head through the door to the bridge. Shen Sheng Dung Gua, what's so important? I found a new prime number. <laughs> That's actually something different than what it said last time I played this. Was that all seriously? I'll be in my quarters. No 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 no. We got a distress call, just like the one Earth got 50 years ago. And we have arrived, you should go investigate, you know, like uh, you're supposed to, and you need to write a report. And I'm bored. You sure you didn't just play a recording of the old distress call like last time? No, this is new, come check it out. Probably nothing. So we can interact here on the uh, left trigger. Hey Cobalt, everything's alright. And then we get into here and we have the Galactipedia server. That you can head into and, uh, and read some more stuff about the meta prototypes and stuff like that. Cool report server, or you can just browse in the speed mainframe. And this is uh, a bit more backstory here on launch day and everything, but I'm not going to read through that. Let's just head in here, browse, mission briefing, and the stress call. Let's look at the mission briefing first. It tells you exactly what we're doing. Agent Cobalt, you have been selected by the board of Borealis Corp to investigate the disappearance of the human colliery designation Trunkopolis on the planet Trunkopedia. And distress call itself, start of transmission, this is an emergency call from Trunkopedia colony. Our communications channels are down and so is our spell checker. <laughs> Requesting immediate assistance, do not land anywhere under that. And you can see they made a spelling error there. At the Nexus, we need support urge. End of transmission. So that's the mission that Cobalt's on. See what did I tell you? This is new and we have arrived. I'm unlocking the teleportation room. Oh, and you should remember to write reports. Make me feel involved. So we head over here. It's actually equipment here. We can inspect it if you press down and you see it has all kinds of attributes. So this is a meta prototype, which we are sporting right now. So we can only unequip it. Um, and we can actually head down here and upgrade at our upgrade bench. So we don't have what we need now to, uh, to upgrade this. But you can actually put scopes on guns and do all kinds of modification and increase the damage. And then you have a little bit of uh, an equipment room down here. But we're already equipped with this explorer armor that is on the racks here. So there's no need to do anything, but we can inspect it and you can see the different stats. So head up here, head back through the door, and over here, and that's the uh, the holo teleportation device. That's where we go into the missions. We'll activate it. So the first mission is right here, and then it will branch out to different missions again. So the first mission is first contact. The distress beacon stressed that any rescue mission should land at the nexus. It might have been the origin of the transmission itself, a good place for Cobalt to start the investigation. Story objective, find the Nexus. Complete story, unlocks four nodes. Let's roll. The marvels of technology. 
So here we are, beam me down Scotty, or beam me up, supervisor office, that's a locked door, no way in, so we'll go the other way. Melee slots, so now you see now you're sort of playing a tutorial, but not really, there is an actual tutorial, but this uh, single player campaign also eases you into it. So now we can select the uh, melee strike and use the right trigger to break the door. Can also jump up there and hit that thing. Maybe we should boost a little bit. Do a roll first and then jump and we hit it. So now it should be down. And then we grab something there. Add it to him. Energy baton. Supervisor's office. And we can push this thing here. But we can also jump over and grab this stuff and then we can break this box. It's rare loot. A stick grenade. We can start the computer. So what is this? Unlock site entrance. We'll do that first. So we unlock the door that was locked before. Hit that again. Problems. We encounter problems again. A stupid skeleton in the way. Shipment of dynamite coming in tomorrow. So we can blast it to pieces and continue. Dynamite. Hello. Is anyone actually responding to these messages? We put the request in weeks ago and now there is snow all over the site. Artifact activation reminder. Don't forget next Tuesday's planned activation of the artifact and the following celebration. Dress code formal. So that's what's going on here at Borelis. Never open for unauthorized personnel. And there's also something up here. Go up here. There's a radio. So now we can, uh, we can choose a track for this level, I guess. So let's go with uh, something with a nice beat to it. There we go. And this is pretty neat as well. You see, this is a locked closet. And there's lock picking in the game. Actually, let me just uh, turn off the radio. All right, let's listen to the aliens talk. So we can uh, open up this. Left mouse button. And A to pick. And you sort of have to use the uh, stick to navigate until you get sort of an exclamation mark that is uh, a little bit tilted. Oh. So I, you have to uh, time it right. See, I get the first one and then the second one. There we go. So now it's open. So there's sort of a little bit of a mini game for lock picking. Well, someone's been digging. I dig it. We've got a pickaxe. So now we have this. Which is a melee weapon. And the door should be open. And you can see when you run for a little while, your feet will start to glow and you run faster. And you can do even faster if you sort of roll and jump. Special offer, free respawn, return to the ship. So we can head back from here. And here's an enemy, I guess. We jump over the bullet, take it out with the pick. And then we gained some material we can use to buy equipment or to upgrade. Head through the door on the left button. And I'll use the pick to break the stone. It's just a switch to ranged weapon. And we can aim to take out the pulley up there. Get the drawbridge down. Very traveler of the stars, you have arrived. You saw my ship. You must be a feline shroom. I read about your kind. Say that. What form I am is of no importance. You have much to learn. So we can select a dialogue option here again. Spill the beans, alien scum. Patience. You seek the truth about what happened to your kind. In time you will find answers. For now stay sharp. Know that the metal kind is not your ally. We shall meet again. And then he's gone. Must have been a hologram. I sure didn't expect that. Oh, so we get attacked here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Trying to hit here and uh, evade at the same time. I'm running out of bullets, I think. Right, this is good. There we go. Switch to the pickaxe. <laughs> so, yeah. We grab some more, some more materials here. Break stuff. Call elevator. There we go. Let's head up. So now we can uh, navigate up and down. 
with the stick. Here's another free respawn point and return to ship point. Ah, so now I'm getting shot at, so we should try and roll into the projectiles here. So you can see we can return them at the robot, but I didn't do too well. I got hit still. We get on the other side of it and break it from the back. And break this stuff here. Found some uncommon loot. Grenade. We hit in here. Remember to stock up before entering the wilderness. Here's a shop. We get the ammo, which we need. Let's get some of that. And get some grenades. Let's just get that stuff as well. I will exit the shop. To storage. I'm heading here. There's more of these angry birds. Alright, let's shoot them. I'm out of I'm out of ammo, I think. I need to reload. There we go. A little bit better. I have to remember to aim with the stick. Let's sit down here. Right trigger to throw plug. Ah, we can put it in this one here. So that uh, turned on the lights and did something else. Maybe it opened this door. I'll switch back to melee. I can't break this. So what's this up here? Added, uh, added term emergency cell. Let's head out here. Look like a boss or something like that heading to the left. Mind the gap. Switch to the gun. There's another respawn point. Use the left stick to aim and Y for ranged weapons. We're already on ranged weapons. Aim at this one, check it out. And we have to pick this. Go down, there we go. So this is the way to the canteen. Switch back to melee. It doesn't do anything. Maybe we can jump up here. Take out this camera. There's a camera up there, but it looks dead already. So we'll just head out here. Refueling station. The wall jump up this way. A spawn point and we could head back to the ship to upgrade our stuff here's the boss he seems to be continuing on with his little helper so this one looks like uh, a place where we need one of those uh, marks to put it oh more of these birds Splits the pick. Ah, here we have the uh, the mark that we need to bring back. What did I just do with it? <laughs> I threw it down there. Let's slide after it. Ah, here we grabbed it. All right, I think we need to put it into this one here. Yeah, there we go. So now we can use this lever here and uh, cross the bridge. I'm not sure I want to. There's a boss over here, I think. Ah, there's a big snowball down there. I wonder if you can throw it down the mountain. So what's going on here? It's another checkpoint. Training grounds, authorized personnel only. So hold the uh, left stick to uh, aim, or auto aim is also engaged by rolling. Just roll and shoot. There we go. Matter assault salvage. Let's grab that. Destroy all targets to unlock door. We already did that. 
Roll training. Ah, so we need to hack this. This little mini game for hacking as well. <laughs> I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Okay, so we need to not go into the yellow and not fly off the screen. Let's go up here, over here, up here. I think we need to activate all of the blue squares. There we go. Unlocked arena arcade character, so you get some uh, unlocks by playing through the campaign as well. Oh, I'm getting shot at there. So let's just roll in and take a shot. There we go. Let's open up this. Some energy. Roll training, matter accelerator, active when red light is on. Use uh, left trigger to roll, roll into flex bullets unless they hit your feet. You'll roll into the bullets here, and deflect them back. And that's the bullet time in the game. So now we can pull this lever, turn off the machines. Head through here. And more birds. There's a lot of extra stuff, basic shield build, new blueprint, so that's crafting as well. So let's select the melee, bring this, grab the rest of the stuff here. More salvage and a grenade, we're already full on that. So I think we should just take out this thing up there. Before it starts shooting at us. I think we'll roll under that and shoot up. Ah, out of bullets, we need to reload. Do that on the left button. Take the prisoners to the processing chamber. Roger. Let's go. So one prisoner tried to escape. You better not touch George, you murderers. Alright, let's see if we can uh, head up here and help them out. State ID number. I am Agent Cobalt, member of the Borelius Expeditionary Unit. Stand aside. Bio <laughs> entity detected. So he locked the door. Uh, I guess he didn't. We took him out. I think he uh, just did the alarm there. Let's go the elevator. Head down here. You can hack the computer. Head down here. Back into the green field. And that hacks it. I guess I could have used grenades there. would have been better. So I think we have some energy. Let's just return to the ship for a little bit. And see if we can do some crafting. See, uh, we picked up the blueprint for basic shield belt. Ah, it costs uh, 600 energy to create. We only have uh, 123, but that was gr would grant us a depletable shield that would recharge when we don't get hit. All right, guys, you get the idea with the uh, story mode. It's very fleshed out and very polished, and there's a lot of stuff going on and the different mini games for hacking, lock picking, and doing other stuff. Let's head back out and check out the last two arcade modes. So the two that we didn't check out was uh, Team Strike, where it's a uh, team against team. And here there's a 100% bot fill, that's fine, let's start. So it's a blue team against red. We'll pick blue team. Here we go, it filled out with bots since no one online and here you have a, a bigger view of the map <laughs> and then it's just mayhem and of course this would be more fun playing it against human opponents and then you have to try and get good at mastering the different moves that you can do 
the red team won that round. But that was just to check out that mode. There's a board. And check out the last mode. Plug slam. This is the sort of capture the flag mode. So I'll pick orange. Let's go. We'll fill up with bots. And the object here is to get the plug. Take out the other guys and you can throw the plug like so. And get it closer to the end zone. Take out this guy here. See if you can grab the plug. Ah, oh, he took me out. So now I'm back in the game here. And we have the plug. Just take out these other guys if we can. So now we should be able to score if we can grab it. Alright, and now I have it. I'll double jump and I'll throw it. And there we go, touchdown, orange scored. And there's cheers all around. So we're up one point. Go for the ball again here. So where's the plug? Ah, oh, we have it. I'll try and take out the blue team here to score a goal. I need to go collect the plug here. I couldn't, but I got a different weapon. Alright, so now it's near the end zone. Ah, I got taken out. So now I'm back in the game here, and the plug's right there. Just need to take out this guy. So I can't both shoot and run with the plug, but now I'm past the blue guy. Ah, there we go, another point. So you get the idea. It's a little bit like handball, but with guns. So there you have it, guys. That's Cobalt. It will release on Steam tomorrow. Pick it up if you think it looks interesting. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.